an OCD heavy hitter in the building. I would say she needs no introduction, but I will give her a proper one when we get around to it, all right? So keep it locked. I got KO in the building, baby. I got a wife in the country, five kids that live just like me, and there's prices to run to. Good life. But right now, O City, O City, I want to welcome to the pirate ship. We spoke before, but I think you just have to, I think you deserve this proper spotlight on, on you. You know what I'm saying? For everything that you got going. O City, please, please, round of applause, and cuz we have KO in the building. K oh, what's going on what with up, you? One eye, what's good? Not much. Okay, so check this out. I just kind of want to like. I know a lot of people know you. You are you. You're very popular. You know. <laughs> Let's let everybody know that. First of all, it's Ko. We're gonna go with yeah. that right off the off the rip. Yeah, I go by the name of Ko. Um, I'm an artist from Enid, Oklahoma. I'm a transplant here in Oklahoma City. Just been grinding like the last five years and yeah. caught a little bit of a buzz, and it's just been picking up ever since. So yeah. yeah. So what made you come down to Oklahoma City? Um, I left actually to go to school. Like I was going to school at Langston, okay. and then like there's not really a big job market in Enid. So you no. know the city was just the next best option. So, right. Yeah. That's good. So that's what you came down here for. You went to you went to Langston. I was going to schools, went to work, and then like um, you know, I just got in the mindset like I I have been doing music like ever since I was a teenager. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And like after I graduated college, I started working, and I was on some I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. I know that I love music. You yes. know what I'm saying? So. I was like, I'm gonna just give everything I got to this music and see what I can make happen with it, and that's just what I'm out here doing. That, exactly, and you do, and you're doing it big, you're doing it real Thank big. So, how, how long have you been in Oklahoma City now? It's been uh, going on six, seven years. Now. Six, seven years. Yeah. All right. So, when you when you first got in, you, you were already doing music and everything. Yeah. Did you already know people here? No. When you got here, so no. you just came in grinding from the like from the out the mud for yeah. real. Like nobody um really knew who I was. I didn't have a lot of friends out here. Um. I had been here a little bit throughout college, like trying to work my music and I would have a show like here and there, but it wasn't enough to be like impactful. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it, it never got a buzz around the shit until I, excuse me, until I, until I was on the, on the ground level right. and just grinding it out. And right. that's when it started to like pick up. So the consistency. Okay. Like, and how long did that, how long did that take? That's probably like the last three years. The last three? Yeah. Okay. All right. So when you, when you first got into the music scene around here, who, who was the first person you hooked up with? The first person I hooked up with. I mean, whether it was for, as a producer or another artist, the first person you was able to just get Trip a conversation. G, for sure. I'm going to say um, Trip G is my guy. Yeah, like I, I definitely contribute a lot of what I've been able to do out here to Trip. Like he he works tripping, tripping friends. Yep. Um, yep. He does that out at the Queen Lounge. And, uh, you know, every time he could put me in front of people and tell them who I was, he did that. Like he was an artist who he'd been out here in Oklahoma City on the ground for 10 plus years just grinding since yeah. he was in high school. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like. And whether or not you a fan of his music, you have to respect that hustle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was, I, I know how much hard work this takes. Mm -hmm. So to see him, I was like, I get it. And we just connected on a different level. And like like I said, every time he got an opportunity and he could put me in front of people, he did that. So yeah, yeah that's my guy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, big shout out to Trip G. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, Third Thursday every month at Queen, Queen of Sheep yeah, Lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shout out to him because he, he invited me out there one night and I came out there. I had a good time. Yeah, it's, good a, time. it's a great show. Like, I've, I've yeah. a few tripping friends. Like yeah. I said, he, he moves it around. He's all over Oklahoma doing his thing. So, yeah, yeah. shout out to my guy. Yeah, and, I, and I was able to safely stumble back to my automobile. Yeah, <laughs> so it yeah, he's, it's not that kind of vibe. He, right, he definitely right. sets it for like for that for it to be like that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. A safe environment. absolutely. Yeah. And it had a great opportunity uh, for uh, a vendor or two in there as well uh, to sell to New sell age. things. Yeah, as well. shout out to Michelle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's big. That's big. All right, so let's get into some music right now. Give us this, this first one right here because we we've played this one before, but I want you to formally introduce this record to us. Yeah, um, the first record we're gonna get into is a track called Lonely off of my project entitled uh, Gentlemen Prefer Blinds. If you got time, go tap in on all. Streaming platforms, you know it's out everywhere. Ko, yeah, absolutely. Jenna, and man, if if you love blondes, wait till you get to load of her <laughs> IG pictures, baby. <laughs> all, right, so, all right, so here we go, baby. It's Ko and Lonely on Oak City's number one for blazing hip hop and R and B. It's Power One Three Point Five. first like bucket list yeah like check it off i yeah. sat in the car and cried like hearing you yell over my song like, hey you know, you know what, what and i saw like, the video i did yeah, see the video i really did like like i said i grew up we didn't even get the radio out there so mm -hmm. it's like to grow up and have one eye on the radio yelling over my song yeah. i'm playing it's like yeah i appreciate that yeah absolutely right. and, and, and it's just bigger and bigger and bigger things to come you know what i'm saying we, we talked we talked about a few things off of air and everything so yeah, yeah any, any anything that i can help you with anything that i can possibly do from here yeah i'm, I'm with that 
let's get into this one real quick. Let's talk about this one real fast. Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to get to some money out here. That's what it's all about. So this yeah. is a bag today off in the meantime. All right, so check it out. Here we go, Old City. Bag days. KO, baby. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about this record. Who, who came to who with this one? Um, I came to Barbie with the record. Okay. I I, ran, I met Barbie at a trip and friends actually. Like yeah. we was doing a hot girl takeover, and it was me, um, Barbie, and her homegirl Valor. Um, I really liked their energy and the type of music that they did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I told Barbie like her stuff super turned up. Yeah. Like I was like that aggression just remind me of like T Grizzly. Yeah. Like I want to turn up yeah. every time I hear it. Like, a lot of energy. I love it. Mm -hmm. So you know, I wanted to see what it would feel like to kind of like bring her into my lane and yeah. see what that would sound like. And she she killed it. You right. know what now, I'm saying? now ever since then, is that a is that a a long term? Uh, a relationship locked in from here Yeah, on. I pray so. I mean, more, you know, more I, stuff to I come, love Barbie man. and her energy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I said, um, everything that she's out here doing, I love the way she works her campaign. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like she's a real genuine individual and she's been a lot more solid than a lot of people that I, I met out here. So, you know, yeah. I don't got nothing but love for Barbie and appreciation. And even with the song, it was like for sure one of my bigger songs that I did. Yeah. Like, you know, so it was a great look. It's a good life.